you got to work out how to stop boring people in your strategy interviews. And I think it all comes down to telling interesting stories and bringing up interesting themes that the interviewer wants to hear in unusual ways, right? So tell your history, but either from an unusual job or an unusual place. Let me give you some examples because it's always easier when we talk about examples. I often talk about how gambling, I was an underage gambler. I loved horse racing. Thank God I kind of gave it up pretty early because you know, I think I can definitely see the ills of uh, gambling <laughs> now. But when I was like 16 years old, I used to sneak into like the bookmakers the, in Australia and like put on all these bets. And I would often say that like gambling made me a really good strategist. I'd be like, Usually a negative you're probably not wanting to admit, like you don't want to talk about oh, gambling, you don't want to talk about how gambling made you an interesting person. But what I would say is gambling actually did make me an amazing strategist because what it did was gambling is very similar to strategy because what you're doing is you're analyzing a lot of data. When you get the newspaper and you get the form guide, you're analyzing and connecting dots between a lot of data. It's also a lot of maths if you're doing it. You're also thinking about money all the way and you're pulling out themes and stories about why you're gonna bet on that horse. And so it's, it's really that mix of kind of like a bit of a social, social science. You've got the analytic side of it, but then you've got to really in your head work out, okay, why is this all, all making sense? And one of the exercises that I do with the members of Strategy Finishing School when they're doing their portfolio is I ask them, tell me a story, go strategist turned, uh, or something, X turned strategist, and use that past experience to tell your story of why you'd make a good strategist. Because A, it's probably gonna be a really good story, and B, it's gonna be super memorable. So I had in mine, I think the strategy finishing school, I've already heard members be like, reality TV star turned strategist. I had someone who was a miner, someone who was a deep sea fisherman. Uh, so they're all really interesting ways. And like you could say, you know, deep sea fisherman, why? Why is that? Well, maybe it's like you've got to work, you've got to understand people really well because you're on a boat with someone for three months. It's all about, again, you could be, it's all about using data. You've got to work out where are the fish and how are we going to find them. You've got limited resources. How are you going to deploy those limited resources? Um, or reality TV star, there's probably a lot you could do. It's like you went on a reality big brother because you were curious about people. You always loved hanging out with people. You can make the story, just don't be the boring account manager turn strategist and everyone's heard that before they're looking for something different so when you're going for a job maybe that should be your opening X turn strategist because it tells you past and you can also explain why you make a great strategist now